Hey guys! So for today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys my February favorites. As you can probably tell, I'm not feeling very well today, but I still want to get this video out. I'm sorry it's coming a little bit late. Been kind of busy, wasn't really feeling very well this whole week either. I do have another video coming for you guys very soon. I pre-filmed that one. This one, I don't know why I didn't think to film this one earlier and I'm kicking myself for it, but at least I know for the month of March to try to film it a little bit earlier. I'm learning as we go along to pre-record as many videos as I can. But yeah, if you guys want to see my February favorites, then uh, just keep on watching. <laughs> okay, so the first thing I'm going to show you guys is my favorite thing I got for the month of February. My nephew <laughs> made me a card and it just makes me so happy every single time I look at it. <laughs> it was so sweet. He made me a card for my birthday. And he went ahead and scribbled all over for me. He's two, keep in mind. But this was definitely my favorite thing I have gotten in the month of February, or just in the year of 2017 in general. But yeah, this was my favorite thing I got for my birthday. I love this so much. It's just, it was so sweet. I love my nephew so much. He is the cutest little boy in the entire world, and he just always warms my heart. He's such a sweetheart. So yeah, shout out for you, Gabriel, for the card you made me. Thank you, honey, I love you. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna show you guys that I have been constantly using in the month of February, this has been helping my skin so much this entire month. Like I have been having dry skin like crazy because of the weather we've been having and it sucks because I'm so not used to having cracked dry skin. Like every single time I put on makeup it's so hard to keep it from cracking and looking gross. So what I'll do is I'll spritz this all over the areas. This is the Mario Badescu. Mario Badescu? I'm assuming. Rose water. It's a facial spray with aloe herbs and rose water and this is amazing. I love this product so much you guys. You have no idea. This has really been saving my skin. So what I'll do to apply this, I'll go ahead and um, I'll put on my makeup. I'll finish my makeup and I will use this as either before my setting spray or I'll use it as a setting spray and it just makes my makeup look awesome. It keeps it from looking cakey and it just leaves a flawless finish to the skin. I also really love this on days when I just don't feel like wearing makeup and I need a little pick-me-up. I'll just go ahead and spritz this all over my face and I'll feel good as new. And on top of that, it smells incredible. It smells like roses. And that's one of my favorite smells in the whole world is the smell of fresh roses. It's amazing. I highly suggest you guys pick this up. I know I was laying the bandwagon with this, but I'm so happy I'm using it now and I absolutely love it. All right, so the next product I'm going to show you guys is the Ready, Set, Brow from Benefit. I've been using this product so much instead of my Anastasia Clear Brow Gel, and I really love this. I didn't think I was going to like it as much as I do. This product is actually really awesome. It does a great job of setting my brows, and my brows do not move all day when I use this product, and that's what I absolutely love about it. I think it's amazing. I think Benefit has done such a great job with brow products lately. I think they've really been on their brow game. I like the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel maybe just a pinch more than this, but this is what I've been using to set my brows in the month of February. All right, the next item I'm going to talk about is, let's see, this shade in the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. It's this one right here, Subconscious. I have been using this shade nonstop as a contour shade and it is amazing. I feel like this is the perfect contour for me. It's not too warm, it's not too cool, but it really carves out your cheekbones so nicely. I absolutely love this. I feel like every single time I use this, it looks really natural. It's definitely my favorite contour shade at the moment and I am obsessed with it. I've been using it non-stop this entire month. I'm sure you could tell from the videos I've been posting this month. I used to always use this shade as like um, my bronzing shade. I'll still use it as like a bronzing shade, but I've been reaching more towards this shade now and I'm so happy I did because I love this shade. All right, the next product I'm going to talk about, I have seen people use these forever and I'm so happy I finally got on the bandwagon and started using these. These are the Melt lipsticks. You guys, I gotta say, this is probably my all-time favorite lipstick formula that I've ever used. The shades I got were, let's see, I have Laced, Bane, 666, and Catsuit. I'll go ahead and swatch these for you guys. Let's see, this one is Lace. The next shade I have here is 666. The next one is the shade Catsuit, which is my personal favorite. 
And then the last shade I have here, that black shade, is Bane. These lipsticks are so incredible. The formula feels so amazing on the lips, and it is incredibly long-lasting. I've noticed certain colors here whenever I wear them. Even when I eat, they don't come off, and I've never seen that in a lipstick before. You know how some lipsticks can be a little uncomfortable and can start to like flake on you and leave butthole lips? <laughs> These don't do that. I highly, highly, highly suggest these to everybody. They're so comfortable. They're so long wearing. They are so incredible. And I'm so happy I got these. Jake actually got me two of the shades for Valentine's Day. He got me Catsuit and 666. And I went ahead and got myself Laced in Bane. I don't know why nobody hypes about these enough because I think they are amazing. They're so freaking good and everyone needs to start talking about them more because of how freaking good they are. All right, the next product I'm going to be talking about is the Moonchild Glow Kit from Anastasia. My sister got me this for my birthday and I am so in love with these highlight shades. I gotta say the shade I've definitely used the most is the shade Pink Heart right here. It leaves such a beautiful, subtle, pink highlight and it's not super noticeably pink which is nice it doesn't like as soon as you put on it's not like whoa that's pink like that's iridescently pink and it's so gorgeous i love all of these shades so much pink heart is just the one that i've used the most but i think all of these are incredible they're so pigmented they look so beautiful and flawless on the cheekbones all of my favorite highlights are in here now because i love colored highlights i'm so happy that colored highlights are becoming a trend because i have always loved these i think anastasia did an amazing job with this palette it is flawless i am obsessed with this palette i have been using this constantly in the month of february like every single day since i got it all right so the next product i'm going to talk about i actually got both of these products in my sephora birthday gift and one of the things I got was this amazing Amazonian clay blush from Tarte. It's in the shade Party. You guys, I am so obsessed with this blush. I don't know why I never realized how amazing Tarte blushes are. Like they are so incredible. They last all day on the cheeks. They're not super crazy pigmented right away, which I love. I hate instant pigment and then you have to work with it and you got to blend it out and you got to fix it and do whatever you can so you don't look like a clown all day this is just such a beautiful subtle blush it's a rosy peachy blush and it's so incredibly beautiful and it goes with any look that you do i think this is definitely my favorite blush formula of all time now i'm so happy i got this and i'm definitely gonna be purchasing more tarte blushes from now on because they are incredible Incredible. And then the other thing that came with the little birthday gift from Sephora was the Tardius Lip Paint. And I got this in the shade Birthday Suit. You guys, this color is so freaking amazing. Oh my god. They really stepped up their game with the birthday gifts because I'm so obsessed with both of these products. That's what it looks like there. It's a mauve pinky nude. If you guys saw my last video, I was totally raving about this product. I think it is so amazing. I think more people need to talk about this. I've seen a few people talk about it, but I haven't seen anyone like rave about it because I gotta say, this is probably my all time favorite lip formula ever. It feels so good on the lips. It doesn't crack, it doesn't leave butthole lips, and it doesn't fade. Like this lasts on my lips all day day. I don't know if the other colors are as good as this one yet. I'm definitely going to buy some though because I love this so much. Like I'm I'm going to keep raving about this because I just think it's so freaking good and I love Tarte. Tarte is one of my favorite brands of all time. They are one of those brands where there hasn't been a product that's just completely let me down yet. I think all of their products are so amazing. It's the lip color I'm actually wearing on my lips today and I am so in love with this. All right, the next product I'm going to talk about is this Christian Louboutin lipstick. So I have one of the greatest friends in the entire world and she decided to get me this bougie lipstick for my birthday because she's completely insane and decided to get me a fucking $90 lipstick. She's amazing for it. I was pissed though because it's expensive as hell. Like you guys, this, this is just a lipstick. This is just a lipstick and it was $90. This better be made of fucking solid gold. But I do have to say the packaging on this is hardcore. Like, you guys, this is a case. 
Like this is actually a case for the freaking lipstick. And then this is what it looks like. And it, be it can be a necklace. Isn't that freaking crazy? Oh my god. And then you open it like this. It has like the little engraving here, the Louboutin. And then the product comes out like that. The color is gorgeous though. It looks like the formula is nice. You know I'm only going to be using this on very rare occasions. They have to be very special occasions because of the fact that this is a $90 lipstick and I do not want to use it up right away, like at all. This is what the color looks like. It's a really pretty mauve pink with a little bit of peach, maybe a little bit of red in it. And I love this color. I think it's so pretty. I think this is totally a color I could use uh, really often. I'm not going to use it really often though because it's freaking $90. Anyway, shout out to my best friend, Christina, because this is insane. I love it. But at the same time, it's so expensive. But still, thank you so much. It was so sweet. I really appreciated it, but oh, it's just so expensive. <laughs> All right, the last item I'm going to talk about is this Guinness Stout candle that one of my friends got me for my birthday. She knows how obsessed I am with the smell of Guinness and just stout in general. Like I've always said I would love a stout scented candle because I think that they smell amazing. My friend found one online and she got it for me for my birthday. And this smells amazing, you guys. I love this candle so much. I've been burning this candle nonstop all month since I got it, and it is amazing. Shout out to Nora, I love you. This candle is incredible. It makes my room smell amazing. Oh, and it just, it smells so good. It smells like Guinness, but a little bit sweeter, like a little more chocolatey maybe, or espresso-y. I'm so in love with this candle. It is so incredible. It is the only candle I've been burning in the month of February. And I haven't even used a lot of it. And I have been burning this candle nonstop. And it's like, it looks like it's barely been touched, which is so nice. I have a feeling this candle is going to last a long time. And I'm really happy about it. And that is it, you guys. That is all my favorites for the month of February. Uh, go ahead and leave me a comment down below of what your favorites were for the month of February. I would love to hear some of them. And yeah, as always, have a great rest of your night or day wherever you guys are. Please like and subscribe if you guys haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. All right, the next product I'm going to show... Did I just spit? Ew, I'm sorry you had to see that. Oh, get it together. But this one... Sorry, I had to see that. All right, the next product I'm gonna. All right, the next product I'm gonna. Get it together. Get it together. Get it together. No, you're. No, you're judging me. You're judging me. You're beautiful. I'm definitely gonna be porch. Porch. <laughs> also, don't forget to. Also, don't forget the. Oh my God! Are you talking to me? No, you hear me. You're so rude.